What's up guys and welcome to my series on how to get started in the washer and dryer business. I'm going to be doing weekly videos on how to get started in this business, tricks and tips for how to make more money in it. Please remember to subscribe because I'm going to be putting out videos on this weekly. Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about the washer and dryer and appliance refurb business, meaning I refurbish things. Uh, for the most part, how much money can you make in this? Uh, depends on what you're buying the washers and dryers for, if they're broken or if they're fixed. To start off, I would just flip washers and dryers, and you could also do refrigerators and stoves, but refrigerators are very heavy and hard to deal with. I would just start off with washers and dryers, and you're just gonna basically get on Marketplace, find washers and dryers like these that are underpriced, dirty, but work well, and the people say they work. You occasionally will run into someone that is lying and they are broken washers and dryers. And the nice part about washer and dryers is they're super easy to fix and you can usually fix them fairly cheaply or ask the seller for money back. Eh, that may not happen, may happen, but it's part of the risk of the whole thing. But I would buy broken washers and dryers if they're broken for 15 to $20 a piece. If they claim they work and they seem like a trustworthy seller, I'm willing to pay 50 to a hundred dollars depending on the condition and age of the washer and dryer I'll bring it back to my shop. I'll clean it. I will respray paint it This it comes from Walmart and it's white and it is appliance paint It actually is made for painting appliances and it looks just like the original paint So basically you're just going to be buying washer and dryers already working cleaning them up painting them, making them look better, and flipping them right back on Facebook Marketplace and selling again. Now, obviously, you're gonna need to have some type of vehicle to pick them up with, but not really. You can still ask the seller if they will deliver for a fee. So say you're buying a nasty looking washer or dryer for 50 bucks, offer them 20 bucks. Now you have $70 in that appliance and you could potentially sell it for 200, which is what I sell washers and dryers for. So here, this one I'm selling for 230. This one I'm selling for 230. This one's 200. That one's 200. This old guy over here will sell for 190. This one's 220. I got some front end loaders that are more expensive, 250, 270. And this is a really deep business. I mainly buy broken washers and dryers and flip them. That's just, I'm super good at fixing them because there's not much that can go wrong with a washer and dryer. It's only about five things you're always fixing over and over again. It's easily something you can learn. It's a skill I wish I would have known when I was younger. I kind of stumbled into this business in my mid twenties, but there is definitely no age restriction on this type of business. You need to be careful. Definitely have your younger, have parent supervision. Don't go to someone's house on Craigslist by yourself, but mainly on, not Craigslist, Facebook. Craigslist is dead now. But mainly on Facebook, the shady stuff is usually in cell phones and computers and stuff. People that sell in washers and dryers are usually just homeowners moving off or somebody would just wanting to upgrade washers and dryers. It's not usually as shady as the other stuff. But hey guys, if you have any questions, put them in the description down below. I will answer you. And if uh, you want to make another video on deeper into the subject, just ask and I'll do it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If this video helped, please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And if you have any questions at all, put them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them.